Virtual Man back at it again, this time with a 128 gigabyte arcade only build. If uh, about a month or so, two months ago, probably more, time flies, uh, he released a 64 gigabyte arcade only build. This is kind of an add on to it. You now have a Thomas Wave, Daphne, Naomi, Neo Geo CD, even more Beats of Rage, and the arcade set has even gone through additionally. A couple arcade games were removed, a couple were added, and now you have it fully customizable with a hard drive add on tool. So if you just want to throw this whole thing on a USB hard drive, that is absolutely. Uh, you're able to do that with no tinkering around. It comes pre-baked in. So that's what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be checking out this 128 gigabyte arcade only build. So stay tuned. So on first boot, what you will notice is he still has those really cool flash screens or splash screens when you start up and they rotate throughout, you know, um, depending on when you boot up, you get a different one each time. I think there's like 13 or so unique ones. You hit select at any time, you can get to see some of his really cool screensavers that he has on here. You just hit select, it'll go through a different one. But also he has it set up for every two minutes of idleness on emulation station. You will see one of these as well. Um, also note, it comes pre-installed with themes, bezel project, and um, uh, the theme randomizer. So every time you boot up, you get a different one of these themes that are already pre-installed. So that's pretty much on all of his images, but if you're new here, you've never seen his images before, they kind of come blinged out that way. Um, if you want to turn that off, you can go to visuals and themes here. You go to the Hersey's theme script, and then you can turn off the randomizer and then just choose the theme you want and you're done. Or if you want to go to Emulation Station Themes or Hershey's Themes and download a particular theme, you still have that option as well. Also note, I turned off the background music that does come pre-installed. And then it still has the Playbox Toolkit from 2Play, some really cool scripts in there. And you get the V-Man post scripts. If something gets broken, he can send you to his GitHub to get that fixed. And then um, lastly, it should have overclock scripts in here as well. Yep. So if you want to overclock for a Thomas Wave or Naomi, you may get a little bit better performance there. Okay, so there you go. Some of the, the nitty gritty about this image. Getting into it, it's got 2,700 games on here. He has some cool favorites, about 86. And we're going to play some of those games later in the video. I apologize for the audio quality. I, for some reason, it was on the wrong microphone when I was playing the games. But you'll still be able to hear the games just fine. Now, um, as far as game collections, it's uh, 2,700 total. Of those 2,700, 2,000 are arcade classics, meaning these are gonna be your main games, your CPS 1, 2, and 3 games. And it's a huge arcade set. If it's got your Mortal Kombat, your Street Fighters, it's got the Galagas, it's got some uh, light gun games, it's got Asteroids, it has all your shooters and your side scrollers, it's got run and guns, you name it. It's got a nice collection and everything is the cool thing about this image is everything is the default emulator is already set so a nice big arcade set a thomas wave you have 26 games you can see that collection here pretty standard game or pretty standard set i think it's the same set that he has on a 512 pretty much give or take daphne one of the larger daphne sets out there and everything is ready to go working good naomi 90 games here so quite a bit of Naomi games as you see here some are gonna run better on the arcade stick or just use an Xbox style controller whatever works for you RetroPie can handle an arrangement of controllers so that's your Naomi set then you got Neo Geo 140 you pretty much got all of them it's a huge set there Neo Geo CD what did it say 92 total so some good games on here as well, and a nice set. Moving down to Beats of Rage, there's one, at least one game in here I found that was NSFW, not safe for work, so just keep that in mind. Um, but ton of games in here. Uh, Beats of Rage um, will play some of your classic games, some updated games, it's, Pretty cool. Some fan-made games. Cool. And then when you get to these next, what, dozen or so categories here, these are all collections. So they're those games 
put into these special folders for organizational purposes. So all your Williams Classic games will be in here. All your SNK will be in here. All your shoot 'em ups. Basically, they're just grabbing them out of this main, these main folders here. You know, arcade classics and such. If you want to turn those off, you can. For example, if I wanted to, you know, turn off Atari and beat 'em ups and Capcom, you could just go ahead and turn them all off if you want a a slim down menu. We can turn all these off and then just press back and then it should be done. Almost there. T. We're on T of. Okay, cool. So now we have zero. And this is going to take a little second here to kind of refresh itself. But there. See, some people would say this is a little too sparse of a menu. But there you go. You have a very simple thing. So let's go ahead and try out some of these games. My buttons here. Okay, that's tough. Get over here. Okay, so this is working good. Start, select out. Hit start. Let's select a character. Let's see what our safe state is, too. Okay, so it's your right trigger where. See, we load state with our left trigger usually, yeah, so. And then you can hold down select and press to the right. Now we're in save slot one. Let's go ahead and save it. Okay, cool. It's a nice bat, bro. But it's no match for my guns. Sweep them, sweep them, sweep them, sweep them. So there you have it, Virtual Man back at it with the uh, arcade only image. Um, not huge, not revolutionary, but a lot of people like this, especially I think a lot of people who are going to want this for uh, arcade one up. But also note, you know, with Virtual Man, he has his config files all set up for a big screen HD TV for 4K TVs. It's not going to shrink this. It's going to uh, properly be displayed that was fixed in a previous image. So a lot of these things that have come along to the evolution of this particular image set, you're gonna be getting all those fixes and it's just gonna work right out of the box. 128 gigabyte is a good size, it's inexpensive. And then as far as an image, it, it does what it says it does, right? It's an arcade only image. The only thing I can knock it for is maybe there's some arcade games that you all want to see on here that weren't on there. Um, maybe adding a subsection for light gun and um, you know trackball games or you know something like that some people might want that but that's nothing to take credit away that's just more into the personalization of the image so for all those reasons two thumbs up a work i really like it um you know especially like i said a lot of people who want to put this in our arcade cabinet this is definitely one of the one of the better routes to go it's low power consumption it's small compact and it has a huge um, you know, uh, power potential as far as what it could play. And then also it's, um, you know, fairly inexpensive. 
especially with the 128 gigabyte SD card right around $20 these days. So anyways, that's what I think. Let me know what you all think. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one. If you're interested, I'll put a link to his forum where you can go talk to him and the community, and they're very uh, helpful over there.